We all need protein. Heck, even collagen is protein. It's amino acids. And the older we get, the more we seem to need protein. Why? Well, I'm sure you've heard of sarcopenia, the wasting away of muscles. That's why older people look like skin and bones. Their muscles are gone. That's because they become less efficient at being able to process and maintain muscles. And that's because their body is less able to absorb it because they have weaker stomach acid. They just don't move their body as enough. They don't have the right enzymes, the right absorption. So that's why they take more protein. I don't know if you notice, if you ever take some of that stuff, you get really constipated. That's because that stuff turns into cement in your body. And they can say whatever they want, how many grams of protein per serving it has. Yeah, but it's not absorbing into your body just because this powder has this much protein in it doesn't mean you've got that much protein absorbing into your body. So the um, grams per serving doesn't matter. What matters is how much of what you take actually absorbs into your body and becomes muscle and becomes, you know, your body, and collagen and things like that. So my question to you is, what if, if you're taking a protein powder, and by the way, I know some people say, well, if, if you ate right, you wouldn't need powders. Okay, fine. The highest sources of protein in the plant world, natto, is one of the highest there is. Most people do not want to eat that because it's nasty. One of the second highest sources is fava beans, which are not really beans. They're in the pea family. And getting fresh fava beans is kind of hard unless you're next to a Mediterranean market. So it's really convenient to have a really high source of protein powder that you could just put in your drink like a smoothie or water and just drink it. Now, some of the other highest sources of protein in the plant world are, for example, chlorella. Does your protein powder have chlorella? I pretty much guarantee you it probably doesn't. I, you know, I was in the same boat you were. I don't want to eat meat. I want to just eat plants and I want to have a lot of protein. I want to have muscles. I want to live long and be healthy. So I looked around at what was out there and I was just not happy with what was out there. So I spent years researching what the best sources were and I created my own formula that I took for myself and I got into bodybuilding and it worked and people started saying well give me what you got <laughs> let me tell you what's in this stuff because this is what I take and this is what I found to be the most powerful formula you could possibly get in today's world like I said does your protein formula have chlorella in it chlorella is considered one of the most complete foods on the planet you could theoretically live off this stuff indefinitely it has all the amino acids it's a complete protein more than any whole food on earth plus it has all kinds of minerals, enzymes, chlorophyll, and pretty much everything else. It quadruples the friendly flora probiotics in your gut, making it one of the most potent growth factors available. It boosts the immune system immensely. It helps children grow and stay healthy. It helps digestion. It helps remove chemicals, toxins, and heavy metals from the body. Pound for pound, nothing has more protein than chlorella. Another crazy ingredient in this formula is pine nuts. Nobody has pine nuts. Do you know what pine nuts cost? Go check it out. Go check out what a handful of pine nuts cost. The reason you don't see pine nuts in any protein powder is it's very, very expensive. But I don't care. I want the best, period. Indians use pine nut soup as a replacement for mother's milk. Pine nuts are also super high in essential fats the body needs. And another thing my formula has that nobody else has is durian. It's one of the only protein powder in the world with durian. Known as the king of fruits, durians can weigh up to 10 pounds. It's an awesome source of protein for muscle building and essential fatty acids. It has a high sulfur content, which is great for youthful skin and tryptophan, which makes people feel good and relax. I also have no pal cactus known as prickly pear. Who has that? <laughs> it's a super high amino acid complex, polysaccharides and fiber to push the protein through. High amounts of protein tends to constipate, so you need lots of fiber and prickly pear has a lot of that. Quinoa sprout, we all know that's a good source of protein. The sprout is the most powerful nutritious stage of this ancient Inca super grain with all the essential amino acids to be a complete protein. It's high in B2 riboflavin which improves energy metabolism in muscle and brain cells. The Incas said it increased the stamina of their warriors. It contains twice as much fiber as other grains, making it great for lowering cholesterol and fighting heart disease. Good old pumpkin seed, a real nutritional powerhouse. They are a great source of protein and it helps with hair loss, prostate and hormone issues. Bodybuilders pay attention. <laughs> pumpkin seed is high in protein and zinc that's good for heart disease and even your eyes and your vision. 
Hemp seed contains all nine essential amino acids and a perfect balance of omega-3 and omega-6 essential fatty acids. It's heavily mineralized. It's great for losing fat, gaining muscle, and improving athletic performance. It's easily digested. It's 50% protein. Nettle leaf. Who has that? This is one of the super plants. You can live off this stuff. Nettles are one of the richest sources of protein and minerals, especially calcium, iron, and silica. The vitamin K in nettle strengthens bones. It removes lactic acid and uric acid in gout. It supports the growth of your probiotics, which is beneficial intestinal flora. It lowers blood sugar, increases insulin sensitivity due to chromium content, and protects blood vessels from insulin damage. Nettle is the only known plant that contains formic acid, which is used to dissolve cholesterol. Nettle also contains a protein molecule called UDA, which attacks fungus in the body. Who has nettle in their formula? And then there's a little bit of Brazil nut in there. Brazil nuts are one of the best natural sources of selenium. Did you know Brazil nut trees can live 500 to 700 years? They have multiple anti-aging qualities. It lowers LDL bad cholesterol and raises HDL good cholesterol. And it's an excellent source of B vitamins. Then there's yucca root powder. Who has that? It's a great source of sterols and saponins, which increase absorption of nutrients and cell wall permeability. It's a strong anti-inflammatory. It's great for post-workouts. Sterols bind cholesterol, help formation of hormones through adrenal glands. It's high in resveratrol, a very strong anti-aging, anti-tumor phytoestrogen that counters a lot of stronger estrogens, which can accelerate the growth of you know what. Yucca is great for bloating, sometimes an issue with people who take too much protein or have weak digestion. In the high levels of resveratrol, which is a neocardiogenic substance, make it a leader in anti-aging and cardiac cell regeneration and degenerative joint disease. And this is all from a wild desert plant that nobody pays much attention to, but me. And then there's amlaberry, one of the highest sources of natural vitamin C needed for all the other herbs to fully function in the body. Vitamin C plays a vital role in secretagogue activity, which is hormone regeneration, and is an excellent alternative to hormone replacement therapy. There's also alfalfa juice powder in there. It's a complete food. Vitamin C, D, E, and K for strong bones and immune system, eight digestive enzymes, all 18 essential amino acids, making it a major source of protein, fatty acids and saponins, which strengthens bones, rebuilds teeth, and cleanses the colon. Then there's malic acid in there. This helps the body absorb all these wonderful nutrients. It helps dissolve uric acid in the body, which helps with gout, and also oxalate kidney stones. It helps increase oxygen transport into cells and is an ATP precursor. ATP is the fuel for cells and helps them function properly. Then there's a little bit of bladder rack in there. That's a seaweed packed with vitamin K, an excellent adrenal stimulant. And it's a good source of immune stimulating polysaccharides which stimulates white blood cells. And then I put coconut water powder in there. Who does that? It's a surfactant which helps nutrient absorption. It's a great sweet flavoring with the benefits of coconut water. It's a great nutritious electrolyte with lots of B vitamins, essential fatty acids, iron, magnesium, selenium, zinc, acrylic acid, and proteins. Then there's trimethylglycine, TMG, which is made from beetroots. Nobody even knows what this is. It's a great for helping nutrient absorption, energy production, hormone production, protecting your DNA, and rebuilding your adrenals. It's one of the best methyl donors known. Almost every molecular bodily function requires methylation and there are over 4,000 methylation reactions in the body like switching genetic DNA back to where it should be, stomach acid formation, hormone and neurotransmitter production, energy, immunity, water balance, liver support, immune support, and on and on and on. Most people are under methylated leading to less than optimal functioning of almost every bodily function and genetic problems. And TMG helps get things back on track. It's also great for the liver which is the body's primary regulator for cholesterol and creator of glycogen and and energy. By helping bring stomach acid levels back to normal, TMG ultimately helps everything from increased nutrient absorption to adrenal rebuilding, which means more energy, and getting hormones back on track. This may prove to be a new breakthrough in optimal body function. Then there's also magnesium malate in there. It's a critical mineral necessary for good nerve and muscle function, healthy blood vessels, balanced blood pressure, and athletic endurance. It's important for tooth formation, heart and kidney health, and restful sleep. It counteracts stress, irregular heartbeat, emotional instability, and depression. Next to oxygen, magnesium is one of the most important substances in the body. We need lots of it, and almost everyone has dangerously low levels. It's as important for life as the air we breathe. Stress depletes magnesium.
magnesium, so everyone in the modern world needs it. And then there's some dry dates in there. It's a sweet source of fiber, iron, protein, and lots of minerals. It helps with constipation, intestinal disorders, weight problems, heart problems, energy, and stamina. And it's also sweetened with a tiny bit of monk fruit, a natural zero calorie, almost zero glycemic sweetener. Wow, now you know what I'm talking about. There is nothing out there, nothing even close to this for protein. It comes in sweetened or unsweetened. The only sweetener is, like I said, dried dates and a little bit of monk fruit. And if you want unsweetened, there's just the raw herbs that are in there. So you get your choice. You get it at marcusprotein.com, M-A-R-K-U-S, or marcusproducts.com, or on Amazon. It's also on Amazon now. So you can get your overnight shipping. Nothing comes close to this. This is the ultimate. It's not just protein. This is so many other things. I want you to experience what it's like to be fully alive. And if you eat that other crap, you feel like sluggish, you feel constipated, you just don't feel like you're getting much out of life. Well, try this. And I want you to leave the comments in the comment section, especially on Amazon. Let people know what it's like to have this stuff because I want the world to know what it's like to be healthy, to be fully alive, to know what it's like to have the best. So I want you to experience this. So go do it and let me know, let the world know because life needs to be lived, right? Life, you shouldn't be wasting away the last 30 years of your life watching yourself in the mirror just shrivel up. I want you to be fully alive. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>